four interceptions from Carson Palmer. He made it count with this touchdown to Michael Floyd late. A 17-10 win, and it ended the Seahawks. 14-game home winning streak, so they have won here before. The head coaches, Pete Carroll and Bruce Arians, and a couple of big notes from today. Larry Fitzgerald inactive. He sprained his MCL last week, so he is not in there. Down to the field we go with Pam Oliver. Chance to talk to Larry Fitzgerald as the team came out of the locker room. He told me that that knee was just too stiff, and boy, did you see it. When he walked away, he walked with a limp. It's obviously really stiff. He's going to miss his first game since 2007. Back to you. Wow. Long time he's been so consistent, and he's played through so many injuries. You're almost used to him just playing, so that's a big loss today. It's a big loss because he's been playing his best football of late. But I'll tell you this, Kevin. Wide receiver, that's the strength of this team. Jawan Brown, Ted Ginn, step in, and they'll do it just fine. Bruce Arians will tell you. I don't know if you've heard this before, but it gets loud in Seattle, and they are rollicking and ready to go for this big NFC West matchup. Arizona won the toss, they'll receive, and here we go. Ted Ginn. And he gets buried. Absolutely buried by Ricardo Lockett, who was there first, and the Cardinals start deep in their own territory. Drew Stanton will be the guy who will lead them out. The 30-year-old in his eighth season has been in the league for a while, but this just his ninth career start, fifth this season. And I love what Richard Sherman, the great Seattle cornerback, said about him. He's a gunslinger. Dude's like Brett Favre. Well, here we come. He likes to take it down the field. From the 14, it's Andre Ellington. And Ellington goes nowhere. Kevin Williams came through for a loss of three. Here's the one thing, even though Carson Palmer is done for the year now, they still attack, John, and that graphic proves it. Well, nothing showed it more. When Carson Palmer went down in the fourth quarter of the game against St. Louis, the next four calls when Drew Stanton came in, four passes culminating in a touchdown to John Brown. Second and 14, pressure coming to the setup of screen. Ellington has some blocks and gets out past the original line of scrimmage. And he's going to get out to about the 17-yard line. Well, this Seattle defense is third in the league this year, but they're just not as completely dominant. They aren't as suffocating. They lost a lot of depth. That happens when you're a Super Bowl team. Everyone wants a piece of you. You see the sacks way down, red zone defense way down, takeaways way down. We'll see if they can replicate that play from last year today. And on third down, they struggle at home, too. Third down and seven. Averill coming. Stanton in trouble. Gets out of it initially. Stanton still alive. Looking, and the ball is tipped. Knocked down and complete. And so Stanton did a great job to stay alive there, but Earl Thomas coming in and making sure that play didn't get completed and a three and out for Arizona. Well, early pressure from Cliff Averill and a wonderful job by Drew Stanton eluding it. And he gets outside the pocket looking downfield and here comes Earl Thomas, a blur as he so often is, tipping the ball down. Ryan Walter is waiting back to receive this punt from Drew Butler. High sailing kick, Walters, returnable. Good return from Walters, and the Seahawks will start their first possession inside Arizona territory. And we will get a chance to see Russell Wilson for the first time, and he wins quite a bit. That's one thing he has done since coming into the league. 21-2, the best start to a career since the NFL merger. But the one thing that we haven't seen from Seattle is their pass game. The run game number one in the league, John, but Russell said it to us. The other day himself, pass game has got to get better. Well, they know. They know. They've been running the ball, and run, the run game will always be first here in Seattle. But to beat teams like the Arizona Cardinals, they're going to have to throw the ball effectively as well. Marshawn Lynch already lining him up as a wideout. He has been a terrific receiver this year with 24 catches. Seattle starts from the Arizona 40. They give to Lynch, breaks through one tackle, but the gang tackling, Dale Buchanan comes up to make the hit for no game. It's a fascinating matchup today in so many aspects. First of all, Seattle, their run game is 
is outstanding. I mean, the last two weeks, they've run for 554 combined yards, which is mind-numbing. But the problem is, with that comes this. They don't throw the ball well at all. And part of it for missing weapons. Golden Tate has been great in Detroit. Percy Harvin traded to the Jets. On second down, blitz coming. Wilson gets it up, and he's got a completion and a first down. And all the way down now is Tony Moiaki, the former Chief, with a big completion and a gain of 17. Well, Arizona, this is what they do. They're going to bring the pressure. So if you're Russell Wilson, what do you do? You have to get rid of the ball quickly. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, comes free. Russell Wilson gets it to Moiaki in a hurry, and then Moiaki carries the pile for positive yardage. Moiaki signed a couple weeks ago, getting into this offense, caught one ball last week against his old team, the Chiefs, for a touchdown. 17-yard pickup, and it's first and 10. And here is Lynch, sidesteps one, gets that side of Larry Foot, and Marshawn Lynch off and rumbling in Seattle. He's all the way down to about the 22-yard line. Well, Rashad Johnson, he's going to come unimpeded. Has a clear line at Marshawn Lynch, but he's not just a guy that will run through you. He's nifty as well. His lateral quickness is unbelievable. Marshawn Lynch, as Pete Carroll, his head coach, said, he's been on fire playing as well as any running back in this league. Seahawks bring Kevin Norwood, the rookie from Alabama, in the game at the top of your screen. Been seldom used. Second and one, Lynch. And Burrow and Ford does not appear to have enough for a first down. So we showed you Seattle's run game, which is number one in the league, but the great matchup today is that Arizona is so difficult to run against. Well, there's so many great matchups in this game, and this is one of them. It's kind of like what gives. Here, Arizona plays the run as well as anybody in this league. There's Todd Bowles, their defensive coordinator. He's outstanding. But Seattle believes they can run it on anyone. So here we go. Another great matchup in this game of tremendous matchups. Third and less than a yard. To Lynch. And he breaks through and has a first down. Always seems to break through that first tackle, and he did it there for a gain of four. Marshawn Lynch. No one better in this league than the yards after contact. And you'll see a lot of people hitting him at the line of scrimmage, but we saw him go lateral early. Now we see him breaking a tackle and falling forward, something he does consistently. Hey, pull out. A good drive for the Seahawks now. There's six play of the drive and a first and ten from the 18. Wilson batted and knocked down at the line of scrimmage. That's Josh Morrow who got his hands on it, the rookie from Stanford. One thing the Arizona Cardinals, they bring in Morrow, but they like big people down there in the defensive line. You got Calais Campbell at 6'8", Morrow at 6'6", Tommy Kelly at 6'6", so Russell Wilson at 5'10". Yes, he's got the long arms, but he's going to have to deal with those behemoths on the front line for Arizona. On second down, they give to Lynch, and another good game for Marshawn. He's down to the 15. Can pick up about three and a half, so you're looking at a third and a long six. And here we go now. Now you're in these third down situations where the Seahawks have been about middle of the pack, in the, in, but this is where the passing game comes in, third and six. Can you execute? And, Kevin, I think you hit it. When you don't have Golden Tate, I think the league's seen how good of a player he is in Detroit. You don't have Percy Harvin in that threat. Can these guys get the separation they need to make Russell Wilson excel? Third down. Wilson, pressure coming, going to dump it to Lynch. Lynch, right side, shimmy, shakes. And he did not get a first down. Arizona pursued it well. Dayon Buchanan came first. Well, just sit back and watch. The, these guys in Arizona fully cognizant that you better get a lot of guys to the party when you're tackling Marshawn Lynch. He rarely goes down on the first hit. So that's tremendous hustle, what you have to have against Marshawn Lynch. And the crowd booing a little bit as Pete Carroll sends out Stephen Hauschka for the field goal try. Be a 27-yarder. Houska's been terrific. 19 of 21 
on the year. And the Seahawks take an early lead. 3-0 Seattle on their opening drive. 8.45 to go in the first. They're up on the cards early. Today's game is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. We are back in Seattle, and the Seahawks, after the defense forced a three and out. Offense put together a nice drive, nine plays, 40 yards, but the, the Arizona D held them to a Stephen Hauschka short field goal. And so it's three to nothing. And Arizona will get the ball for their second possession coming up. Gorgeous day here in the Pacific Northwest. It was miserable this morning, cold and rainy, but the sun's out in the 50s now. And Hauschka gets a good leg into it. Ginn's going to return it. Ted Ginn still on his feet. He works his way out near the 23-yard line. And so Arizona will take over for the second time. Drew Stanton back on the field after the defense held its own. His game is sponsored by Budweiser, America's smoothest blogger. Seahawks getting a big piece of their defense back today is Bobby Wagner, their middle linebacker, number 54. He's missed the last five games, tore a ligament in his toe, and this is just Stefan Taylor. And Taylor himself just getting back to being healthy. He's got a pretty decent gain out to about the 28 for Cam Chancellor made the stop. But, John, this Seattle defense has been banged up pretty much all year. Wagner's a pretty big guy to have back. Well, he's, he's right right in the heart of it. He's in the center, and he's a tremendous player. But the communication's so important. They played with so many combination. He allows K.J. Wright to go back to his normal outside linebacker position. It makes them a lot better. And Seattle, Dan Quinn saying that he was having his best season before he got hurt. Second and five, and it's a fake. Stanton, pressure, big time, steps up. Got to get down the field for John Brown, knocked away. And a penalty coming in. It was Maxwell on the coverage, but the flag came from behind him. It's another fascinating matchup in this game. Pass interference, defense. Arizona will chuck it down the field. Well, there's the gunslinger we're talking about. Drew Stanton, in particular, will chuck it down the field. The one difference, Carson Palmer can and did. Drew Stanton does it at a higher frequency. Yeah. This guy likes taking it downtown. The Seahawks knew it. We knew it. What gives? And that's not a completion, but it's as good as one right there. Crowd doesn't like it, but it's a 37-yard penalty. And Mike Pereira tells us from L.A. it was a good call. Well, Mike Pereira likes it. Pete Carroll certainly doesn't know. <laughs> We were talking with Dan Quinn, the Seattle defensive coordinator. He said of Stanton, I think he's pretty bold. Here's my shot. I'm going for it. I respect that. And the shot pays off with a 37-yard penalty. Kevin, in that call right there, that's critical because that's the way these Seattle corners play. They're all over you. They're in your hip. If the refs allow them to play, advantage Seattle. If they're calling it like that, advantage Arizona all day long. Heat is really hot right now. And so it puts Arizona in good field position. They mark it at the Seattle 33. Four-man rush. Time for Stanton, who comes near set. Drop by Ellington. Andre Ellington was open, coverage by Bruce Irvin, and it's a second attempt. Well, Andre Ellington, that's a rare sight, the drop, because he's a fabulous receiving threat out of the backfield field. He came into today with 41 receptions, and I think something Bruce Arians told us is, look, he's been playing through some injury, playing him more than they really want to as an every down back. Stephon Taylor's going to get a heavy load of running so that they can feature Ellington more in the pass game. Second and ten, Ellington, good cut for tripped up. I thought that had a potential for a big run, but Michael Bennett made a nice tackle. It's only a gain of two. He did, and I think this is one reason why Bruce Arians wants to take some of the load off Ellington. He's been getting tripped up a lot, and it looks like if he can get through some of those, this guy has the ability to take everyone deep. Too much of that for Andre Ellington of late. Down and eight. 
Stanton going deep again for Ellington, and he overthrew him. Had his man by a step, it looked like Earl Thomas, but instead, Arizona will settle for a field goal try. Well, that's just the way these Arizona Cardinals play. Get used to it, because if they get that one-on-one -on -one matchup, yes, they're going against Earl Thomas. They're bold. They're going to take the ball downfield, and it's proved and served them very well this season. The rookie from Clemson, Chandler Cannon Zero, has had a great year. Just one miss, and that was his last try two weeks ago against St. Louis. This from 49 yards out. And he misses that one. So after 17 straight to start the season, Cannon Zero has missed his last two, and Arizona wastes an opportunity. And so they come that close to tying it, but instead, it's the Seahawks who hold. B. Carroll likes that one. 3-0, his guys. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Pizza Hut. We're taking pizza where it's never been before. By T-Mobile, changing the game of wireless. And by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. After the miss by Chandler Cannon Zero, the rookie's had a great year, but he missed his last field goal try two weeks ago. And John, in warm-ups, I was watching him. He missed four of six off a tee. I mean, he wasn't close. And it's not windy here today. So he pushed that one from 49 yards out. And now the Seahawks with their second possession. They're started on their own 39. Robert Turbin in the game at running back, not Marshawn Lynch. They run the zone read. And Turbin, that's not going to work. Arizona had it played very well. Rashad Johnson there. Here's some warm-ups. Now, he was kicking this towards the other end zone, but this is four of six missed off a tee. That's no wind. No wind, and he, he pushed it just like he did in the game. So Canazaro, so good early in his rookie season of late, some struggles. We'll see if he can respond and bounce back. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting storyline to watch. A loss of one on the plate of Turbin. He's still in the game, and now they'll flank him out to the right. Wilson looking to get it to him, tipped again, and again it's knocked down. Okafor was the guy who came in and batted it away. Second time they've knocked down a Russell Wilson pass. Well, Okafor is going to come off that top of the screen, and he's aware they do so much of this. The pass is right at or behind the line of scrimmage that I'm sure Todd Bowles has told these guys, get your hands up, don't jump, get your hands up. And that's exactly what Okafor does. That was close to a lateral. They just say Gene's territory just hit a legal forward, uh, excuse me, incomplete forward pass. So it's incomplete. And Okafor's been on fire here of late. Three sacks in the last two games, five on the season. Really come up big when you lose John Abraham for the year, Matt Shaughnessy. So many players have stepped up. That next man up mentality has been so successful here in Arizona. Seagulls need to get to the 49. Cardinals coming with a little blitz, looking to set up a screen. Cardinals are ready to Turbin, and he has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. They were all over Robert Turbin. Larry Foote and a whole host of others was there. Seattle goes backwards, and they'll punt it away. People ask me often, what's a hallmark of a great defense? And I'll tell them the first thing, you got to run to the football. You have to get 11 men helping on getting to that ball, and that's exactly what you see from the Arizona Cardinals. Here they come. And they do it consistently. Larry Foote right in the middle of it. This is an excellent defense. Fun to watch. By the way, Marshawn Lynch not in as we get a penalty on that series. Seahawks tell us he's okay. He's been dealing with a back injury, though. He has been pretty banged up, so probably just trying to give him a little rest. An eligible man downfield, offense number 65. Penalties declined. The result, fourth down. Yeah, back to Marshawn Lynch, you know, contrary to public belief, he does speak in that at practice the other day. You know, we have that common last name. He said, buddy, I'm hurting. You know, I really am. And, and you can see why. He's been carrying the load for this team. And I think Pete Carroll understands that. He's going to keep riding him, but try to rotate Turbin and Michael in there for him. I mean, he is the Seattle offense. Lorenzo Alexander came close to blocking it, but a great punt by Ryan. And it's going to take an even better Seattle bounce. Look at this. All the way inside the 10. A hang time of 4-9 on the punt from John Ryan. 59 yards. Arizona takes over deep in their own territory. Pete Carroll, 63 years old, although his actions like he's 33. He is bouncing all over the place. 
he was great with us the other day. You could tell how fired up he was for this game. Arizona takes over deep in their own territory after a great punt from John Ryan. Andre Ellington up the middle, good run. He's got nearly seven on first down for K.J. Wright, made the tackle. You know, Kevin, Andre Ellington only averaging 3.4 yards per carry. But I got to tell you, it's the most magnificent 3.4 yards per carry I've seen. He is a darter. He's explosive. He exceptional player. I think just waiting to bust out. Once he gets healthy, I think it's going to come. He also got away with a false start, I thought. He took a step forward before the snap. That's why Richard Sherman was going nuts. Draw to him here again, and just shy of the first down. But well, we showed you Pete Carroll, and then for Arizona, you've got Bruce Arians at 62 years old, who has done an amazing job. And he had a sit down with Howie Long before the game, John, and he had a great quote. He said, Howie said, How do you relate to these younger guys? He said, Well, be honest and disciplines, and sometimes feelings don't matter. <laughs> One of the cool things in this game is the respect these coaches have for each other. Pete Carroll saying about Arians, his personality and style really comes through with his team. Third and one. Up man, it's Hughes, the fullback. He's got it. And so they give it to the fullback, who's like a human bowling ball. He had a big play on a screen pass last week, and it's a first down. You know, Kevin, and one of the things I find interesting in this game, we, we've set the table. Seattle runs it very effectively. They've struggled to throw it. Arizona throws the ball down the field. They've really struggled to run the football. I kind of think the team that can be good at their weakness today. So can Arizona run it effectively? Can Seattle throw it effectively? Whoever does that, I think a long way towards winning this game. So far, an early commitment to the run for Arizona. Here to pass. Stanton has time for his side. He's got a completion over there. It's John Brown who hauls it in. Good throw by Stanton. The coverage by Maxwell. And this Arizona receiving core playing without Larry Fitzgerald, John, but you said they've got a deep unit here. They sure do. And this, this young man, he, he's really good. I mean, when Bruce Arians, who doesn't just throw out compliments lightly, compares this guy to Marvin Harrison, you know that he's something special as you see Larry Fitzgerald but John Brown has taken this league by storm magnificent rookie season 13 yard gain to him there matched up against Sherman on the bottom of your screen Stanton going to sling it to Ellington and he cannot get by Cam Chancellor Cam Chancellor, who had missed a couple games with a groin injury, is just starting to get back to full strength. Hey Kevin, you talk about strength down the middle. Well, we talked about Bobby Wagner, the middle linebacker. Well, here's your strong safety. And this is on the edge, but Cam Chancellor, so big, so long, covers ground in a hurry. Excellent open field tackler. We saw him take over the Super Bowl against the Broncos, set the tone. He's a difference maker for the Seattle Seahawks. Chancellor is 6'3", 232. Cardinals bring in their jumbo package, Jonathan Cooper, number 61, an extra lineman. On the second and eight, they're going to hand it off to Taylor, and Taylor runs forward across the 41. First game break of today. Let's get it to Joel Clapp. All right, Kevin, we head down to Santa Clara. The 49ers at home against the Redskins, and Colin Kaepernick showing some touch. The 30-yard touchdown to Anquan Bolden, and it's an early lead for the Niners. 7 nothing. back to Seattle. Kevin and John. Oh, and hey, Joel, by the way, the Seahawks and 49ers meet four days from now on Thanksgiving. Stanton avoids the pressure, but then he gets dropped. He stepped up from the initial rush, but then Jordan Hill got him, and the Cardinals will have to punt. Well, more pressure than you typically see in form of blitz from the Seattle Seahawks. They bring in five, and Jordan Hill, tremendous job, because Drew Stanton saw that green grass. Jordan Hill felt that disengaged from the offensive lineman, made the stop short of the line to gain. And we get a flag here. Before Butler got this punt away. So hang on. 
The offense snapped the ball prior to the officials being in the proper position to officiate. We'll reset to 25 and replay fourth down. Well, even the fans are booing that one. That didn't affect anything, guys. <laughs> They're just feisty. They know how big this game is for their Seahawks. Officials have to be able to get in their positions or at least close to it for a play is run. You could feel it. You could feel the, can't you feel the tension in this game already? Arizona with a three-game lead in this division. Huge for both, but especially for Seattle. It's Walters on a low punt. Walters, good room. Still going all the way out to the 45. Ryan Walters with a 22-yard return, and the Seahawks at good field position and a 3-0 lead. Marshawn Lynch played the first series, did not play the last series, which happens. He's on a pace for a record carries in his career, and he's had a back injury, but now may be developing into something because he's still not out there. Robert Turbin in the game for Seattle to start this next possession. They started at the 44. 3-0, they lead the Cardinals, 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Cardinals show blitz, here they come, Wilson on a fake, has time, steps up, going to air it out. He's got him there, wide open, it's Luggett, taken down inside the 10. A 48-yard bomb. Well, just a tremendous job. Ricardo Lockett, you're going to see Patrick Peterson on him. He thinks the free safety Rashad Johnson is going to take over coverage, but Russell Wilson was fabulous with his eyes. Russell Wilson flat out looked off the free safety and then came over to the other receiver. And now a first down and goal from the eight. And that'll be the end of quarter number one. Big play for the Seahawks. 48 yards to lock it, sets him up for a first and goal. 3-0, they lead after one. We start the second quarter. Ricardo Lockett with a 48-yard catch to set up a first and goal. He had only had four catches for 46 yards the last seven games. So that eclipsed that with one play. Wilson, time. Looking, looking to run, but it not, is not going to happen. Calais Campbell takes him down for a loss. Well, let's take a look, Kevin, at that previous play, because it's just a tremendous job. I want you to watch Rashad Johnson, the free safety. Patrick Peterson thinks he's going to take over coverage, but watch him flip out. Now we're going to show you why. Watch Russell Wilson. Watch the way he manipulates. He's looking to his left, looking to his left. Boom, he throws to his right. So Rashad Johnson seeing what we're seeing. But that's just pure manipulation by Russell Wilson. A fabulous job. He barely even turned to the right before he threw it. Second and goal from the 14. Sling it to Turbin. Right side. Cutting back and bot down at the five. Turbin in there. Marshawn Lynch still not. More on that. Let's go down to Pam. Well, Kevin, I've been watching Marshawn Lynch for a very long time. He's definitely looking uncomfortable. He's not on the sideline with his teammates at the moment. He went into a little area where they generate those video pictures. Lynch, I am told, is probable, and his back is flared up. Back to you. Mm. He's in a little room back there, a soundproof room, which I don't know how you have a soundproof room at this place, John. Well, he's in the room now. Last week it was... <laughs> Outside in the cold at Kansas City at halftime, so who knows? The guy can play, though. I know that. Now third and goal. Pressure. Wilson is taken down. Dayon Buchanan, the rookie safety, comes in for his second sack, and a biggie in Seattle will have to kick. Well, you know, he's a free runner, but that's tough to do against Russell Wilson. Wilson, you got to think. Outside leg, outside leg, that's exactly what he does. He ties him up. Outstanding play by the rookie from Washington State. So the second sack of the day for Arizona, and now Hauschka will try another short field goal. He's got a 27-yarder, this one from 32. And it's up and through. So the Seahawks up their lead to 6 to nothing, but Arizona stingy in that red zone so far. Seahawks 6, Cardinals nothing, coming back in the second. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Sprint. By K-Tours. Every kiss begins with K.
and by Visa Checkout, the easier way to pay online. Visa, everywhere you want to be. Beautiful downtown Seattle and a fantastic sunny day. This Cardinals defense has done the job. Seattle got in the red zone twice, but then they've been stymied. So two Steven Hauschka short field goals, and it's 6-0. Seahawks. Hauska drills one deep, and again, there's no shot to return that out of the end zone. All this week, feast on the biggest rivalries in college football beginning on Thanksgiving Day. Fifth-ranked TCU battles Texas. Followed on Friday the 13th, actually 13th-ranked Arizona State squaring off against 15th-ranked Arizona. Then Saturday, Notre Dame against 19th-ranked USC. It all begins Thanksgiving Day on Fox Sports 1, Fox, and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Well, it is like a party in here. Might not dance, Bruce Irvin, right? Stanton and the Cardinals down 6-0, started off on their own 20. Stanton steps up, great catch by Ellington behind him, and he hauled it in for a first down, up to the 36, it's a gain of 15. Well, Andre Ellington, what a catch, back behind him, he goes out with one hand and brings it in, and here comes Earl Thomas, what? You're going to get hit when you're playing the Seattle Seahawks. But plays like that can win you the game. Interesting, Kevin. Pete Carroll, you can feel it. He doesn't think Drew Stanton. He said, look, Carson Palmer's not here. Great respect for Stanton's ability to get down the field. He doesn't think he can methodically work the ball down the field. He's got time here and a lot of it. Stanton. Misfires intercepted. It's Maxwell who's got it. Byron Maxwell looking for a block, but he's going to go down, but he's got the pick. His second of the year, and Seattle in business. Well, Byron Maxwell does a tremendous job all over. Not his receiver that Stanton's throwing to it. He comes off his coverage. Just tremendous eyes. Stanton locks on. Maxwell reads him. Takes the ball away. Seattle gets the turnover, up 6-0. Byron Maxwell, his second interception of the year. He had had some injury troubles earlier, but he's getting healthy now. And then Stanton with a bad decision, talking with Bruce Arians, but now the Seahawks, up 6-0 in the second. And again, good field position at the Arizona 48. Marshawn Lynch is back in the game. That's him lined up as a receiver. Wilson fired. He's got curse. Jermaine Kirsch has it inside the 30. Well, even when Marshawn Lynch isn't carrying the football, they use him as a decoy. Watch Russell Wilson. Quick pump out to Marshawn and then the seam to Kirsch. Marshawn Lynch drew him all in. That quick pump that manipulates the defense again down the seam to Kirsch. Excellent execution of their plan. Russell Wilson looking sharp, 6 of 8, 93 yards in the air. First the big play, 48 yards to lock it earlier. From the 29. A lot of time, airing it out for Kirsch for the end zone, and he overshot him. Good coverage, Patrick Peterson was right there. Kevin, we've got a treat in the fact that we've got two of the best cornerbacks in football here today. And Patrick Pe Peterson, certainly one of them. A guy that goes about 215 pounds and can run like the wind. He loves to compete. Richard Sherman on the other side. This is, this is special because you got two of the best in the league. I, I put them up there with Keenan Lewis down in New Orleans as the best. And we're going to get to watch them on display today. Yeah, Sherman obviously leading this secondary, which is healthy now. Empty backfield again. Wilson pressured, steps up, and down he goes. Third sack of the day for Arizona. It was Campbell who was there first. Well, Todd Bowles, the defensive coordinator, does a tremendous job of constantly changing personnel, changing looks. You see Tommy Kelly come free, and Calais Campbell's going to finish him off. Again, Giants in there, but they can move, and Calais Campbell, one of the best defense alignment in football. 
He's got to play big. Everybody from Arizona told us he's got to be play big for them to win, and he is thus far. And that moves it to a third and 16. Seahawks need to get down to the 19-yard line. Wilson, you know, far side, and that is not going to get it done. Well, you've got a long field goal, but this is well within Hauska's range. There's Moyaki on the catch. Hauska's got a big leg, and he's accurate. He has a 58-yard field goal to his credit on the year. This will be about 52 yards, it looks like. Hauska two for two today with a couple of short ones from 27 and 32. And you'd like to see him get a little bigger chunk, not rely on that huge leg of Hauska, but he can pop it. From 52. It is right down the middle. So three Stephen Hauska field goals as the Seahawks out and running to a 9-0 lead. Hauska perfect so far today. Seahawks take advantage of the Maxwell interception. Up by nine here in the first half. Game is sponsored by Ford. Beautiful things happen when you go further. Here in Seattle, where... Seahawks are up 9 nothing, but you really have to credit the Arizona defense. I mean, when you consider where Seattle has started, there they just got the interception in Arizona territory, but again, Arizona's D gets them right off the field. They're averaging starting at their own 46. Could be a lot worse. Hausko will kick it off. Is not going to return it, and now we'll see Drew Stanton trying to get something generated on offense. What a journey for him! Came to Arizona first day of free agency in 2013 to sign with Bruce Arians, who he was with in Indy. Then started weeks two through five for an injured Carson Palmer, did well, concussed week five against Denver. Palmer comes back, Palmer gets hurt, then he leads the fourth quarter comeback against the Rams, beating the Lions last week for his first ever 300 yard game and making his ninth career start today for a guy who's been in the league for eight years. Quite a story, quite a story of perseverance for Drew Stanton. Stephon Taylor in the backfield and he'll get it on first down and he goes nowhere. It's Arizona, John, they told us they were gonna have to stick with the run to keep him through, but right now the run is not doing a thing. It's not done much and it's gonna have to because this Arizona, or Seattle defense, they're tough to get the ball downfield, which is the Cardinals game. One thing I do want to note, congratulations in this week of giving thanks to the Stanton family. Emmerich East came into this world a couple weeks ago, so to Kristen and Drew Stanton, everybody at Fox, congratulates you. Yeah, the baby with within 24 hours of that comeback win over the Rams. Yeah, he's doing game plans, but he's doing baby duty as well. Game plans and diapers at a second and ten, all in one. Jumbo lineup again, and they'll fake the run. Stanton's got time. Looking over the middle. He's incomplete. He had his tight end, Rob Hausler, but he overshot him, and now a third and long. And we've got a game break with Joel Clapp. All right, Kevin, back to San Diego and those pesky St. Louis Rams. They just never go away, do they? Janoris Jenkins, 99-yard INT return for a touchdown off of Phillip Rivers. 10-3 Rams on the road. Back to Seattle, Kevin and John. It's not like they're just doing this to just guys. Peyton Manning, Philip Rivers, the best this league has to offer. Third and ten. Pressure again. Stanton is dropped. Cliff Averill came in nearly untouched. And Arizona will punt. Watch Cliff Averill going to come off the edge and just beat Bobby Massey. One-on-one, -on -one, too much speed. This is the type of rush, the relentless rush that you saw from the Super Bowl champion Seattle Seahawks in 2013. Haven't seen it a whole lot this year. We're seeing it today. And Seattle should get good field position yet again. Butler, a short punt. Walter's going to let it bounce. And Seahawks will take over in Arizona territory yet again. So it's all defense today. The Seahawks defense gets the offense the ball back up nine to nothing on Arizona. Todd Bowles on your left, the defensive coordinator for Arizona. Daryl Bevel on your right. He's the offensive coordinator for Seattle. 
And the Cardinals are playing a dangerous game. They're down 9 nothing, and this is the third out of five drives for Seattle starting starting in Arizona territory. Hey, the defense has been right, earning right, their stripes all year long. This is a critical juncture of this, of this game. They need to right now. Lynch gets it, and Lynch is taken down from behind immediately by Josh Morrow. Second good play he's made. He had a batted ball at the line earlier. He was signed from the Pittsburgh practice squad after week 11, and he's arriving and making plays in a hurry. And that kind of seems to be the way this Arizona team has gone. They've had a lot of attrition on this team. Keep losing, guys, but guys keep stepping up and doing it at a high level. It is amazing the amount of bodies they've either lost to free agency or suspension or injury. The read, zone read, Wilson keeps it. And it's a beauty. Wilson on his way. Russell Wilson going for the end zone. And he's just shy. We get a flag, too, inside the 10. We're going to get a hold on Curse. Offense, number 15. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, Seattle. But, Kevin, I got to tell you, what, what a fake by Russell Wilson because I played in this league for 15 years, and he had me. I'm watching Marshawn Lynch. There's Curse, and that's a good call by the officials. The fans don't like it. Pete Carroll doesn't like it. But look at this fake. Josh Morrow thinks Russell or, uh, Marshawn Lynch has it. Russell Wilson says not so fast, and he is out the door. The 40-yard run for Wilson. He came into this game with 571 yards. A career high, averaging 7.7 a rush. And he's had to run a lot more because of all the loss of their weapons. So, it's first and 10 from the 19 after the penalty. Lynch taken down immediately. And these Cardinals are tackling. Frosty Rucker made the play for a loss. Kevin, I'll say, though, the difference. They're running it effectively. They always do. The difference today, Russell Wilson, 7 of 10 for 94 yards and got the big chunk. He's thrown it effectively like he did last year. That hasn't been the case this season. Also, the big play, the 48-yarder to Ricardo Lockett. Well, you were talking to Doug Baldwin at practice the other day when we were there on Friday, and it seemed like things were going well, right? So best, best plan they've had all year. Best week of practice for Russell throwing the football. He thought they were ready to explode. Second and 12. Four-man rush, but pressure again, and Wilson sacked again. The fourth sack of the day already for Arizona, and it's Campbell for number three. Well, Calais Campbell, what he is, he's a game wrecker. And that's what he'll do to your game plan if you don't account for him. They try to set up the screen. You don't have enough time with Calais Campbell. That is a bad man with bad intentions, and he's letting them be known today. He had three sacks coming into the game. He's got three sacks in the first half. And the three sacks coming in does not reflect the type of player that he is. He is, as you called it, a game record. Now a third and forever. They've got to get inside the 10. Four-man rush. Wilson thinks about running, and he is going to be dropped again. The fourth sack for Arizona. Make it the fifth, and that's Tommy Kelly. And this just seems familiar. <laughs> they, they start to get the ball down there. How big is that holding penalty now? And then a good job of coverage, and Tommy Kelly comes off doing a tremendous job of containing Russell Wilson, keeping him bottled up in that pocket. And here comes Steven Hauschka again. Wow. Five sacks for this Arizona defense in the first half. The single reason that they're in the game. This is Hauschka from 49 yards. And it's blocked. It is blocked by Arizona. And Jefferson will pick it up at the 21. This Cardinals defense has kept them in the game with an incredible effort. And now whistles everywhere. A low kick from Hauschka. There's Calais Campbell. There's Tommy Kelly. It's Tommy Kelly who stands 6'6". Six, six. Calais Campbell at 6'8". You better get that ball up. And Tommy Kelly denies Hauschka's try. So Arizona, which has seen Seattle have the ball in their territory the entire game, which has seen Seattle inside the red zone the entire game, has yielded nine points, and it could have been a whole lot worse. Kevin, and we just presented. I thought that was a critical series. These Arizona Cardinals, they're closers. They're a second-half team, but you got to stay in it. Now can they do something with it offensively? That's what they don't have so far, just 48 total yards. 
with 5.28 to go in the half. Ellington, Chancellor's going to wrap him up after a gain of about three. Well, they've been tried and true to this run. I mean, they're, they're sticking with it. It's a ninth carry they've had so far. They're running at 50% of the time. They just can't get it going. Well, and I think you have to. In this environment, with this noise, you see the get off these Seattle Seahawks. You've got to keep them off balance. And Bruce Arians likes to say, run it enough to keep their attention. Again, no Larry Fitzgerald today, inactive with a knee injury. And so that's Michael Floyd in motion. Now second and seven. They're going to set up a screen to Nowheresville. There's Andre Ellington over there, but that one didn't have a chance. And now a third down coming up. Well, Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams is a guy that's played a lot of football in this league. Played 12 years in the NFL, and Kevin Williams snipped out that screen. You watch him in the middle. Here he comes. 94 right there. He's going to go. Andre Ellington. Defense, number 41. Five-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. And the penalty came in the secondary against Byron Maxwell. Big point of emphasis this season. Hands to the face. And they got Byron Maxwell. Another good call by Gene Steratore's crew. Larry Fitzgerald was trying to point it out. Hey, did you guys catch that? They did, and so it moves the change for Arizona. Flag flies. Stanton steps away. And he's just going to run to the sideline and get on out right around the line of scrimmage, but let's see what the penalty is. The indication is offsides on Seattle. All right, they sort this out. Let's go down and check in with Pam. Well, Kevin, it's playing out. I talked to Arizona Offside. defensive back Defense Patrick Peterson about how much the Cardinals overall success falls on the shoulders of the entire defense, putting it as tactfully as he could and emphasizing having total confidence in Drew Stanton. Peterson told me that you're playing with the backup quarterback. The level of difficulty for the defense rises. He told me the defense not only has to outplay the opposing offense, but also outdo the opponent's defense. Back here. Well, that is a really good point, and they've lived up to it in this game. That was the 16th offsides in Seattle, most in the league. And first and five, Ellington on the run, and Ellington just has nowhere to go. Swarming defense by these Seahawks today. Maxwell, Chancellor. We're both there. And you know what's really interesting about Seattle's plan right now? They're daring Drew Stanton and the Cardinals to throw it. That's their strength, but yet they're loading the box and saying, come ahead, try to run the football on us. You're not going to do it. You're going to have to beat us through the throw. So a little contrarian plan by Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator for the Seattle Seahawks. Stanton's only got four completions and one of them to a wide receiver, John Brown. The real offense they had was a pass interference penalty on Byron Maxwell. It's Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator, upstairs for Seattle. Ellington on the track run and brushed backwards by Wagner. And it's going to be shy of a first down by two yards. And, and that's what Bobby Wagner brings to this defense. Bobby Wagner right here. You feel his speed on the field. You look like you have a hole. No, you don't. And Bobby Wagner, a big defender that can run. He's a key cog to the Seattle defense. Arizona just one of five on third down today. Third and two. step up and throw and I don't know if that's going to get it done it was Carlson yes they mark it that will be enough for first down so he does get the forward progress and the quick mark and it moves the chains of the tight end John Carlson and look Carlson only had 23 catches coming into today but you talked to Carson Palmer and Drew Stanton this was a huge acquisition he's that security blanket you notice in film that in big situations they like to go to John Carlson especially with Larry Fitzgerald not playing Carson Palmer earlier in the year said it was the best thing we did all offseason. But look at this again, loading the box, saying, you're not going to run on us, you're going to have to beat us throwing the football. Stephon Taylor in the game gets the ball, and again, nowhere to go. And that 
will likely take us down to the two-minute warning after a gain of two. Maxwell and Irvin on the tackle. And so it's been a lot of defense in this first half from Seattle. A couple of field goals by Steven Hauschka, the difference. Two minutes ago, first half, 9-0 Seahawks. You can follow your favorite team all season long. Go to iTunes.com slash NFL. Two minutes to go, first half. Seahawks 9, Cardinals nothing. Arizona football with a second and eight. Here's all you need to know. I mean, uh, there's not much yardage going on in this game right now. 116 total for Seattle, 59 for Arizona. But considering of Seattle's 23 plays, 19 have been in Arizona territory. It's amazing the game's this close. Second and eight. Stanton goes far side and he overthrows Deron Brown and Drew Stanton is not sharp so far today. And this is exactly what Pete Carroll, this is what he thought. He can't methodically dink and dunk us down the field. They're going to have to take shots. We're not going to give up the shots and then let's see what we have. They're doing a great job. Drew Stanton's going to have to answer. Both teams with all three timeouts and a third and eight. And now timeout is called. Seattle calls their first timeout. While we have a moment, let's check in with Kurt Menefee. Coming up on the Visa Halftime, Tom Brady and the Patriots with another statement win. Aaron Rodgers and the Pack hold on against the Vikes. And Josh Gordon comes up big against the Falcons. Highlights and more coming up when we come back to Visa Halftime. Bruce Arians, who said during the week, we're 9-1 and one, we haven't done anything. I'm paraphrasing. He used a different term. <laughs> but, you know, John, he's been pretty bombastic in, 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 you know, talking up the importance and telling the guys, hey, Super Bowl's in Phoenix. You don't want someone else changing at your locker, do you? He's been open with that. Well, I love it. Embrace it. And that's been his style from the start. He doesn't play scared. He's going to let it all hang out there. It's been very successful. Big third down and eight with the Seahawks having two timeouts left. That's Ellington in motion. Stanton can run if he wants, he will, and he's going to have the first down. Drew Stanton using his legs into Seattle territory out around the 45-yard line. He's going to pick up 13 yards. And I think that's really smart. They motion Ellington out. What that does, that opens it up. You know, I said earlier, this defense hasn't been the suffocating one we saw last year. Well, they have been today. So that motion, watch Bruce, Bruce Irvin. He has to go outside. That opens up some green grass for Stanton. I think that would be why. Spread this defense out. It's a 13-yard run, the longest run of the day for Arizona. Stanton again pressure again behind Ellington who made a catch like that earlier in the game but couldn't make that one. K.J. Wright on the coverage. And Kevin not only is it an incompletion I think if he hits him in stride Ellington could do some damage there. Bruce, Drew Stanton a little off the mark here today. Look if he hits him in stride he may elude K.J. Wright and be off to the races so Drew Stanton's got to be accurate with the football. I mean, Drew Stanton is not going to be a 70% passer. He came in at 54%, but he's just 5 of 12 for 40 yards today. Second and 10. He's got time here, and he throws over the middle complete, and he's got it to Deron Brown, still going down to the 22. Plenty of time with a minute 37, so the Cardinals do not have to take a timeout. Well, Jerron Brown is a receiver that we had the Cardinals week two in New York against the Giants. Bruce Arians said nobody had a better camp at the wide receiver position than Jerron Brown. So when you lose Larry Fitzgerald, is it something? Of course. But they do have tremendous depth at the wide receiver position. And so a timeout, Arizona does end up taking a timeout. They really didn't have to if they didn't want it. They have plenty of time left. I'm sure they'd love to make this and not give it back to Seattle. Now, Brown is a guy that we kind of get a nine catches for 76 yards, but he, he's big, 6'2", 205 pounds. John, you talked about this depth for, the, for these Cardinals. But, you know, with Fitzgerald 
almost like you take it for granted. Well, he's, he's got a catch on 159 games. He's got 12,000 yards. He's got it all. Remember the narrative early in the year. He's no longer their number one. Well, he is their number yeah. one, and they're missing him today. Arizona in field goal range, even though they missed one earlier today. It's a first down. Empty backfield. Stanton. It's blocked up. He's going end zone. Double coverage incomplete. There is nothing there, even remotely. Michael Floyd, the intended receiver. You see the route by Michael Floyd, Byron Maxwell, all over him. And smart, heady play, knowing from his release that he's going to come back outside. He had Chancellor inside, so stay outside and wait for him to come. Good teamwork by Chancellor and Byron Maxwell. Michael Floyd doesn't have a catch in this first half. Sands is one of his last seven. John Brown in the slot. Clock at two, and now a flag. Arizona may have moved. All start. Offense number 62. Five round penalty. <laughs> what a reaction by Drew Stanton, but Kevin, I mean, it, it, it's, it's so repetitive, but this place is deafening. It really is. I know they say Kansas City beat them in that sound test. It's not louder. I've played in both. This is the loudest place in the league. That moves it back to a second and 15. First penalty on Arizona today was on Ted Larson, the left guard. Seattle shows blitz. Here they come. Stanton throws. He's got a completion. Carlson inside the 10. It's a first down. They beat the blitz, and they've got a first and goal. Well, they beat the blitz, and a blitz means one-on-one -on -one coverage. Instead, it's the zone. Wagner playing inside, and here's John Carlson again. Not taking a timeout, but plenty of time left. Stanton has time. Kind of near side. High throw. Brown picks it up, but doesn't get much. Only a yard as now we're at a minute three to go. Arizona with two timeouts, and there's a timeout on the field here. They've got another one. 103 to go. Cardinals are threatening down nine. Well, Kevin, I think a really curious timeout because you got 109, and I'm thinking to myself, plenty of time. They call the timeout. All that does in my mind is give Seattle and Russell Wilson time if they do score. Especially in a goal to go situation. Empty backfield. Minute three to go in the half. Stanton, pressure over the middle. Carlson tackled immediately by Cam Chancellor. And now you've got a third and goal from the five. With the clock ticking inside a minute. And they keep on talking in this league about the tight ends and the problems they pose on defenders. There's just not, not a guy that can match up. Well, Cam Chancellor, you've got a guy that can. He's 6'3", 232 pounds. He matches up well against these tight ends. Arians looks like he's just going to wait this play clock out and get the clock down inside 20 seconds and then call his final timeout. And that would bring up a third and goal. And basically eliminate any chance for Seattle to get the ball and do anything. Well, early games, a lot happened. The Eagles all over the Titans, and they got it started right with a Josh Huff 107-yard kick return touchdown. Tom Brady, I mean, it's just ridiculous how the Patriots are rolling right now. They mauled the Lions. And Isaiah Crowell, and the Falcons had a chance to win that game, but the Browns, they got a contribution from Josh Gordon back today. Browns are right in the thick of it. Yeah, they sure are. And one guy I didn't see on there, Kevin, did I just see... I think you showed me before the game, Aaron Rodgers now, 30 touchdowns, three interceptions. That line is ridiculous. That's correct, John. As is his play. 30 and three. Now, here's the, here's the thing. 19 seconds left, John. What I did say is, yeah, you, you don't leave Seattle with much time. You've got to throw the end zone, though. If you make a mistake here and get caught for the end zone, you're not getting a chance for a field goal, I don't think. It's close. Uh, Bruce Arians knew he had third down. So, but you do have to take a shot. What they're telling Drew Stanton right now, in zone or out of bounds. 14th play of the drive, third and goal. Stanton, lit. 
gets picked up. Drops! He had a touchdown, and Jerron Brown just flat out dropped it. Well, listen. All out blitz. And Jerron Brown does a tremendous job of eluding Maxwell. Ball's in his hands, in his stomach, really, and just doesn't see it in. His eyes don't come down to the ball. That's a missed opportunity that will loom large in this game. Meanwhile, Seahawks have an injury. Jeremy Lane, their nickelback is down. And look at Arias. <laughs> that's great. How about that? That's great. You know, that's what they say. He knows when to be truthful and be hard on his guys. He knows when to love them up. That's a time that Jerron Brown, who's got a lot of football to be played in this game and they're counting on, he needs to be loved up. I like that. How many guys can, like, smile and laugh at that moment? I mean, that's a big play. And now Cannon Zero, who missed a 49-yard field goal on his only try this year, had hit his first 17 field goals to start his career this rookie, has now missed the last two. This is nearly a gimme. It's 23 yards. Cardinals are on the board. So a good drive by Arizona. Get within six with 14 seconds to go in the half. Drew Stanton stood in there against the Blitz and delivered a perfect pass and got a little roughed up. Bobby Wagner saying hello on that play. So the Cardinals with a great drive. 15 plays, 74 yards. Jerron Brown dropped a touchdown on third down. But they do settle for a field goal and they're on the board. What a defensive half. 9-3 Seattle with 14 seconds to go. Cannon Zero will get good leg into it. And Richardson's going to take a knee. Well, Fox tonight, Thanksgiving comes early to Sunday fun day. So go ahead and pig out with all new episodes of TV's best comedies. It's guaranteed to leave you hungry for more. Sunday fun day starts tonight at 8, 7 central on Fox. So, Kevin, you go back to that last series. Remember Russell Wilson in the end zone. The holding penalty brings it back. They block the field goal. They only get three points, but that's huge because what the Arizona Cardinals do better than anybody in this league is close. They're a fourth quarter team, a second half team, and so that was a huge sequence at the end of that half. 117 yards for the Cardinals, 116 for Seattle. You like defense? This I is the it. game for you. I know you do, John, that's for sure. And so we go to the break from Seattle. Good one. Seahawks 9, Cardinals 3 to L.A. Kurt and the fellas take it away. Seahawks lead the Cardinals as we get set for the third quarter. Today's excitement is brought to you by Nissan. How about the Cardinals with five first-half sacks? And look, it's been a game for defense. Both Arizona and Seattle defense has been swarming. They've been terrific. I'm curious, though, if Marshawn Lynch is really all right. He's got seven carries, John, for 14 total yards, but only two since the opening drive when he went out with that with that back injury for a while. Yeah, really late in the first half he came back, but all they did is use him as a decoy. Mm -hmm. Remember Russell Wilson faking to him going around the edge? So that's key to this game, obviously. Russell Wilson, he's been sacked a bunch here. He's got to find a way to either throw the ball quickly or get out of the pocket. And then Drew Stanton, I think he established some rhythm on that last drive of the game. We'll see if that can carry over. Arizona prides themselves on being finishers. Pete Carroll said, hey, we're, we're pretty good finishers, too. This is going to continue to be a tremendous matchup. And so Arizona won the toss earlier and elected to get the ball. So Seattle will start it in this second half. Good football game. NFC West. Cardinals have a three-game lead over the defending champion Seahawks. Here's Richardson coming out. And he makes a bad decision as he is down at the 10. Let's go down the sidelines, check in with Pam Oliver. Well, Kevin, Bruce Arians came over to me, and he was absolutely laughing. He said, boy, we really needed that touchdown. He figures the second half will be the same old story and that the defense will carry it. And the offense, he says, we have to scratch out a touchdown. As for the Seahawks, Pete Carroll told me about his quarterback being sacked five times. He said, we have got to protect him better. we got to get the ball out quicker. He also said that the second half will come down to who's got the most heart, and he also said that Marshawn Lynch is fine. Back to you. Have you seen a coach laughing when you're losing at halftime, John? <laughs> well, they're closers, I told you, and I think they're confident in their ability to do that. 
So here are the Seahawks backed up and the zone read Wilson. Dayon Buchanan read that well, but Russell Wilson works his way still for a four-yard gain. Nicely done. It's been strange for Seattle. I mean, they've had 25 plays in the game, and 20 of them have been running Arizona territory. And, Kevin, I want you to watch this. Watch. He's got, he's got him, and then 36 out on Russell Wilson. It's just Todd Bowles. You see Buchanan on Russell Wilson. These guys are on their jobs, on their assignment. This zone read gives everybody in this league problems. The Cardinals have done a very nice job absent of the one long run that Russell Wilson had. On second and six, here's Marshawn Lynch. And there's not much there. Give him two yards before Frosty Rucker brought him down. You know, you were talking about Bowles, and, you know, Wilson has been so electric running the ball this year. And, John, he told us, you know, you have to pick your spots. I think he throws the ball very well, but from picking the lesser of two evils. Well, yeah, and, and their complete game plan, he's going to have to beat us throwing the football. They were not going to let him run the football. He did the one time, but here we go. Russell Wilson having to throw the football. Can they do it? Just one of six on third down today. Blitz, Wilson, spinning away, taking down. He gets rid of it. He gets rid of it in time. It's incomplete, but nonetheless, Seattle goes three and out to open this third quarter. And what they've done a tremendous job today is finishing. Russell Wilson, we see him so often being able to elude the rush, but Okafer stays on him. Here comes Calais Campbell. They've been all over him. They're going to get themselves nice field position. Down by contact. So he was down, and that's a sack. That'll be sack number six. Let's see. Good call. It looks like that left knee was down before he actually threw the ball, flipped the ball forward. So Okafer with another sack now, six on the season. Sixth sack of the day for Arizona. And John Ryan playing from his own end line. Ted Ginn looking at this one and is going to let it go. So Arizona starts off in good shape on their first possession of the third quarter. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. By Chevrolet, find new roads. By Burger King, mix and match two large premium sandwiches for just $5 only at Burger King. And by Bose, the official sound of the NFL. Uh, if you've never been here, it's one of the prettiest places in America. Here in Seattle, you look at downtown, the Space Needle to your left. And a gorgeous day today and a big game in the NFC West where the Cardinals have a three-game lead over the defending Super Bowl champion Seahawks. Arizona football, their best field position by far. Previously, it's been their own 23. And they start with the run to Ellington. And they stay consistent staying with it, but again, not fruitful on the results. A gain of three. You know, and I think Bruce Arians, we, we see him and he talks about attacking all the time. And there's going to be a time where they're going to attack, but you heard in his comments to Pam, offensively, we just got to we got to keep scratching and find a way. They're really relying on their defense. We'll see if it's enough. Again, the Cardinals playing without Larry Fitzgerald today with a knee injury. It was a game-time decision, so... Trying to overcome that. Second and seven. They, how about this? It's own read with Stanton. And Bruce Irvin says, uh-uh. That one is not going to work. It's going to lose four and a third and long coming up. Well, they try a little zone read of their own. And watch Bruce Irvin up top. He says, I practice against Russell Wilson every day. I'm not falling for this. And he's a unique and tremendous athlete out there on the edge. And just gobbles up. Drew Stanton. Pump up the volume in Seattle. Third and ten. Stanton steps up, throws incomplete. He was looking for John Brown. It was laying on the coverage, but the throw behind him, and the Cardinals were punt. And that throw was affected by the pressure of Bruce Irvin. Bruce Irvin got a hand on Drew Stanton. It caused the ball to sail high, 
consistent pressure from the Seattle Seahawks front today. Drew Butler has had some returnable punts. Walters had a 22-yard return earlier. Pressure coming. It's blocked, and it's loose. Arizona back. They're going to pick it up, but Seattle, and it's still loose. Look at the play by Helfen. Seattle blocks the punt. It was Deshaun Shedd who barreled into Butler, and the Seahawks in business. Deshaun Shedd going to come from the top of the screen and just power right through Rashad Johnson. The personal protector, someone other than Rashad Johnson should have him on the edge. Huge play in this game, giving Russell Wilson excellent field position. Seattle almost got to one before. They had Sherman come in off the edge and try and rush. That time, Shedd had the clear path, and he makes an enormous play. The third-year man from Portland State. And now the Seahawks with it inside the Arizona 25. All day, Seattle's field position has been tremendous, but they've yet to capitalize in the form of a touchdown. Wilson, looking, gets out of it somehow. Still going, tucking and running is Russell Wilson. It's about the most fun five-yard run you'll see, Russell Wilson making it happen. Well, that's what we're more accustomed to seeing. They've done a tremendous job of bottling him up, but Okafer and Tommy Kelly right there, they can't get him down. He eludes Dayon Buchanan, but a tremendous job of staying with it by Buchanan to hunt him down to keep it to only a five-yard game. We'll call it four, a market of the 20, and so it's second and six. Wilson keeps and goes backwards. Tyron Matthew did not fall for it. And this Cardinals team, with the exception of that one run, has been all over the zone read today. That's just textbook. Watch Tyron, Tyron Matthew doing his job. Everybody doing their job. He's just sitting there waiting for Russell. And then he's a guy who has the athleticism in space. Matthew, you see him each week get a little, little more like the guy we saw last year. A little more spry coming off that ACL. The brace seems to get smaller every week, and plays in space is where that start, start to show itself. Marshawn Lynch goes out of the game. Seattle goes four wide on this play on a third down eight. Penalty. And they blow this one dead. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing, John. All start. Offense number 64. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Every time Seattle has a momentum-type play, Arizona's D has a, a big tackle for a loss or a sack, and then Seattle's looking at a third and long. It's a resilient group. That's what they've been all year. Look, they aren't blowing people out. They haven't been all year. They're 9-1 and because they stay in games. They're resilient. They keep playing for 60 minutes, and they find a way. Pete Carroll said it. Look, this group is going to keep coming at you, and you better get comfortable with the fact that that's going to be the, the case. They're going to bring it for 60 minutes. And so after the penalty, you're looking at a third and 13. Seahawks need to get to the 14-yard line. Doug Baldwin, that's in motion. Hasn't caught a pass yet today. Four-man rush, Wilson over the middle, and that is going to be shy, well shy of a first down. Moiaki made the catch, but sure tackling by Buchanan in Arizona, and so we'll see Steven Hauschka one more time. Now this defense, tremendous effort today, continuing to stand up, being put in bad field position over and over again, and standing up to the challenge each and every time. So this will be a 40-yard try for Hauschka, who had his last attempt blocked, remember. Hauschka gets this one up, and it's right down the middle. So the Seahawks add to their lead. It's 12 to 3 here in the third. But again, they can't punch it home. The Seahawks add three more. Bruce Arians roaming the sideline. I think he's uh, he's looking for a little something on that last play. Listen, we're getting yanked. We're getting 
choked around here. Let's get a call. <laughs> Passion, you gotta love it. Russell Wilson trying to get his guys going. What a defensive contest this is. It's been fun. 12-3 Seahawks. They had another field goal after the punt block, but again, they couldn't punch it home. That's been the story today. Seattle's winning, John. They're in a good position here today, but this is what is missing from this offense. Percy Harvin traded, and there's all kinds of scuffle going on. We'll show you in a Harvin traded. Tate. Let him go as a free agent. He's having a great year at 97 yards today. And then Zach Miller on injured reserve, the tight end, who's a really good player. So all of a sudden your weapons go away. Marshawn Lynch is clearly not totally healthy today. And it's hard for Seattle to move the ball. And it's hard for Russell Wilson. You know, Doug Baldwin's a really nice receiver. He's not a burner. He's not going to get you a ton of separation. You see Lockett make a play today. Curse. But Golden Tate's a really good player. The league is starting to understand that. Percy Harvin, not much production, but he scared the heck out of people. And Zach Miller just did everything right. One thing we know, the Seattle defense is still darn good. And they're playing that way today. First and 10, Arizona, down 12-3 in the third. Go on the run to Ellington. Gain of maybe. Now they push the pile forward all the way to the 25, so it turns it into a decent run. Ellington has been quiet today. Yeah, this is uh, this is a John Lynch game written all over. <laughs> well, you know, both defenses have been really good. And Arizona offensively playing this one very close to the vest. But the problem is where they usually score is off turnovers. Russell Wilson, the Seahawks, not been real good in terms of productivity. They're not turning it over, though. Ellington in the backfield, nine carries, 18 yards, that's it. And again, you see every yard just so hard fought. Well, it's interesting you talk about that because, you know, we know about the turnovers for this Arizona team. And Pete Carroll's mantra here in Seattle has always been, it's all about the ball. And what did he tell us on Friday? He said, we can't give them their lifeline. The lifeline's the ball, because to throw it down the field, to do all those things, and they score on defense a lot through the Arizona Cardinals. So this is a different situation. Let's see how they do when they don't have the ball all day long. When someone doesn't give it away, we shall see. It's a third and two. Stanton to Ellington. What a tackle immediately by the speedy Earl Thomas, and he did not get it. Watch Earl Thomas. Just kind of lurking in the woods. And then, boom. Great eyes and then the closing ability. That's what makes this guy a defensive player of the year candidate. Some criticism in the last week that it's either feast or famine, which I think he owned up to. But he is a tremendous football player. Seattle blocked the last punt, not this one. Butler gets off a good one. And it's going to be fair caught at the 25 by Walters. Defense, 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 and the Super Bowl champs with the lead, 12 to 3. By DreamWorks Penguins of Madagascar in 3D Wednesday only in theaters. Earl Thomas with a tremendous play. Fox Sports Sports is proud to work with Got Your Six, a campaign that creates opportunities to bring veterans and civilians together and inspires Americans to understand the unique skills and values of our veterans. Here's Wilson on first down, throwing in complete for a first down. There's Moliaki again, the former chief, has been active in this game. Believe it or not, he's the leading receiver for Seattle today with four catches. And this is a guy that they really like. Look at the hard play action to Marshawn, using him more as a decoy. Moliaki garners some space. Russell Wilson puts it on the money. Look, Pete Carroll said, look, I know it's not too in vogue, but we work our offense off the running game, and if we need to throw it to win, we will. The formula is working today. Well, the thing is, they're not running all that effectively today. They had the 140-yard run by Russell Wilson. Other than that, they haven't done much. Here's Marshawn Lynch, and he goes nowhere. Belted repeatedly. Great job by Minter on the tackle. Game break time with Kurt Menefee. Down 10-6 to St. Louis. San Diego has scored twice in 21 seconds. This, the defense coming up big. Andrew Gatskar picks up the loose ball. A lot of players thought it was an incomplete pass. It was a fumble, 13-yard score. They lead it 20-10 now. Kevin, John, and Pan.
Kurt, thanks. How about the Miami Dolphins leading in Denver 21 17, John? Mm. Miami is red hot, and Denver has lost two of three. Second down. A lot of time. Russell Wilson looking, and he finally has it complete. And that is going to be shy of a first down. It's Kevin Norwood, the rookie from Alabama, just his fifth catch of the year. Tremendous protection for Russell Wilson. We've seen six sacks already, but look at the time for Norwood. He's smacking his hands like he's out on the street saying, well, five Mississippi, get the ball to me. Tremendous protection. Russell Wilson stands tall in the pocket and fires it. These two teams just close so fast on the ball. They're the best two in the league. And they really do. They close, close, and close hard. And are sure tacklers when they get there. Play clock running down already at three. Third down and one. They roll the pocket. They get pulled. And his first catch is good for a first down. First catch of the day for Doug Baldwin here in the third. This is an old Bill Walsh special. Sprint right option. You put your back out there. You roll Russell to the right. And Doug Baldwin to the flat. Been in that West Coast system for years. So effective on third and short. So that'll move the stick, Seattle, with a 12-3 lead. On the fake, pressure coming big time. Wilson eludes, hold the four, fires. It's a gain of 23. Well, Todd Bowles, one thing he said with Russell Wilson, he'll give ground to gain ground. And here's an example of it, of Russell Wilson. He twirls out of the pocket. Okafor closing. Eyes downfield. Hits Marshawn. And then Antonio Cromarty. That's called a business decision, folks. He's saying, go ahead, Marshawn. I'm not hitting you. Man, that was something by Wilson. There's Lynch today playing with that bad back, and he delivers that play. Now first and ten inside the 30. Turbin's in the game. Zone Reed, Wilson Keegan is going to lose again. Arizona has been all over it. And you know who's been all over the field? This Josh Morrow just signed up the practice squad from Pittsburgh. He's not even here three weeks ago, and he is playing one heck of a game as Josh Morrow. I, I held that back because he's a Stanford guy, and I didn't want to seem biased. But the young man, he, he's earning it. Second and 14. Kind of a three-man rush this time. They come to Baldwin. He tries to break three at the 30, but doesn't. He's going to pick up three. Seahawks were working on Jermaine Curse's ankle on the sideline. He was out a few plays. Now he's up. Looks like he's ready to get back in the game. And he will come back in. Hasn't exactly been the game of wide receivers so far. There's really been one big play in the game. It was locking on that 48-yard bomb from Russell Wilson. Wilson had a 40-yard run. Defense has dominated, and it's a yet again a third and long. Seahawks in field goal range right now. Wilson's going to run. Pump fake in a beauty. Russell Wilson still going. He's got the first down. Fifteen yards on the scamper. Well, on, a, on this drive, Russell Wilson's mobility has taken over. We saw it earlier to buy time to get the ball to Lynch. Now the pump and then running for that line to gain. What a job by Russell Wilson. Dale Buchanan went for that pump. He got him the space he needed. First down, Seahawks. First and 10 from the 15. Here's where Seattle has stumbled. They've gotten here before, but have come away with field goals each time. Whistle. And that one is going to go against Seattle. All start. Offense number 78. Five-yard penalty. First off, how do you defend that? I mean, they've done a good job against that zone read today, but when a guy like that runs and he pumps you, I mean, how do you, how do you not go it's for it? It's difficult. You don't go for the pump, they get the first down on the pass. Right. And so that's, that's what a mobile quarterback does to you, and it keeps people like Todd Bowles up at night. 
But again, the Seahawks get something going, get down there, a penalty to back them up and get them behind the sticks. Wilson told us the other day, it's like a fast break in basketball. If you're going to stay back, the receiver, I'm going to run. Right. If not, I'll throw it. Lady. That time he ran it. First and 15 from the 20 after the penalty. Going to dump it up here to Cooper. Hell for the tight end. Slip through. Diving. Touchdown. Second one of the year for Hell. And that was pretty. And Kevin, that's what I was alluding to. We, when they talk about, we work our offense. We see if Heffel is in. I believe he is. Stretches that ball over. That's a touchdown. But we work our offense off the run game. Again, the fake on the run game. The play action, the boot. And Heffel gets in for the touchdown. So Cooper Helfit, who was the last two years on this Seattle practice squad out of Duke, had a great touchdown catch against the Rams earlier this year. That one from 20 yards out, and it's a biggie. It really extends this game. Extra point, up and good. And the Seahawks defending home turf. 19-3, they're up. What a drive by Seattle. Nine plays, 75 yards. Cooper Helfit with a 20-yard Touchdown catch and rumble in, but Russell Wilson was outstanding on that drive. Well, that was his legs. And using Marshawn Lynch in the receiving game and then as a decoy in the play action passing game, but getting Russell Wilson the ability, getting him on the perimeter, allowing him to use his mobility to take advantage of this Arizona defense. And now quite a big task for Arizona down 19 to 3, the way the Seahawks defense is playing. Wilson with some magic. This one started it with the spin, finding Marshawn Lynch for the big play. Then he had a big run, and then the touchdown pass to Helfen, and it's 19-3, Seahawks. Week 12 continues with Sunday Night Football tonight at 8.30 Eastern on NBC, and then tune in tomorrow, Monday Night Football on ESPN. It's Seattle territory now. 19-3, and this crowd about to get nuts. They have dominated this third quarter. Stanton over the middle, and he's got a completion of Floyd, who has a first down. Michael Floyd has his first catch of the day, but we got a penalty. And that one, let's see who is going to be on. Might be coming back. So Michael Floyd still doesn't have a catch today. Holding offense number 70. 10 yard penalty. Replay. First down. Well, it's Bobby Massey, the right tackle. The get off. From this, from this Seattle defense has been unbelievable all day. And Bobby Massey, Michael Bennett, just exposes him on the edge. Bobby Massey knows it. This is starting to look like the Seattle defense we saw in 2013, the World Champions. First and 20. Stanton's going to throw it deep for John Brown. Makes an adjustment. I think he got it. What a job catching that ball by John Brown. Look at that concentration. Two feet down. Tremendous catch. And then he controls it through the process all the way to the ground. Drew Stratton trying to hurry up. Pete Carroll has challenged. But I believe that's a catch for John Brown. A whale of an adjustment and a catch of 33 yards of it stands. We'll take some more looks. Catch, left foot down. We'll see if that left foot is indeed inside, in, in bounds. Right foot definitely down. Tyron Matthew put his hands up immediately. Let's see. That's a catch. I think you're right. That's big because in this quarter, Seattle has outgained Arizona 83 to 2 until that play. You know, and we heard Bruce Arians coming out of half, Kevin. We got to find a way. What, really, what you got to do is go back to what brought you here. You gotta be a gunslinger, Drew Stanton. You gotta throw the ball downfield. You gotta challenge these guys. That's a catch. Left foot in, right foot definitely in. That will be a catch and remain one. That is a tremendous catch. Now remember, it's a two-score game here. So you gotta you got a lot to do against the Seattle defense that has been outstanding. It's really you know, we're looking at this a million times in slow motion, but 
How about the, the call by the official uh, to, in real time to say, yep, that's a catch and have that right. Gene Steratore's crew is a good one. That's uh, one of the best in the league, and they've been on it all day long. But really, we've seen this Seattle defense all day try to suffocate this defense, try this offense of the Arizona Cardinals. And what you need to do is back them off. You need to throw the ball downfield. I think they've gone, gone conservative and dance with what brought you here, which is going after people down the field. That's how fast. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Completed catch. First down, Arizona. Seattle will be charged with their first time out of the half. So Pete Carroll burns a challenge and he loses his first time out of the half and Arizona desperately needed something. 21 seconds ago in the third quarter, it will be a first and 10 out at the 43. He's got a first down, Andre Ellington, inside the 45 of Seattle, and that should take us to the end of the third quarter. It's a pickup of 14 yards. Third quarter belonged to Seattle. They put together a brilliant touchdown drive. Cardinals dejected. Seahawks liking what they've got. It's a 19-3 lead. Fourth quarter has belonged to the Arizona Cardinals like no one else in the NFL. This is why they're nine and one, John. Well, they're, they're the Trevor Hoffman, Mariano Rivera, whatever closer you want to talk about. That's what they do, and they decimate opponents. 57 plus 57 scoring in the fourth quarter for the Arizona Cardinals this year. This is a tall task, though, against the third best defense in the league, especially the way they're playing today. 19-3 Seattle. We start the fourth. Arizona has the ball on the 43, and it's Taylor who gets it and just hard times trying to run against this defense. Bobby Wagner on the tackle. One thing about Arizona coming into today, their run game was was not not good. They were 30th in the league, but yards per carry. And today it, it's it's carried over. Their average is 2.8 yards per carry, and they stuck with the run. I think a large part of that, Andre Ellington not being completely healthy. His foot's been hurt. Today we just saw him tap, taping his groin during the break. He's hurting. And so Stephon Taylor remains at running back. On the fake, Taylor picks up the blitz. Stanton has a man wide open, and the catch is made by Brown. Stumbling backward, almost tripped, but he hauled it in for a first down inside the 20. It's a gain of 23. Maybe not. Number 84. Henry, replay. Second down. That's on Rob Hausler, the tight end. Rob Hausler in disbelief. We'll see Hausler working right here against Bruce Irvin on the edge. And yeah, he got him a little, little bit, threw him down. I think that's a good call. Bruce Irvin on the spin move, and then yes, he does throw him down. Negates the big game to Jerron Brown. Second and 17. Stanton's going to tuck it and run, and he's going to get about five. And still a third and long coming up. And, and, and it's just so reminiscent of what we saw out of the Seahawks, both offensively. Russell Wilson, the precision, running the football, using his legs. But then the defense, they've been suffocating the get off. Playing off their crowd. This is what we saw from the Super Bowl champions. They felt like it was coming. Well, we've seen it today. They need to get to the 33. Stanton. That's time. Looking, looking, incomplete. He was looking for Floyd. It was incomplete. And a fourth and long, and we've got a game break with Kurt Menefee. After San Diego scored two quick touchdowns in 21 seconds, the Rams have answered back 
Davon Austin, his first touchdown of the year. Six-yard score. Right now, it's San Diego up 20-17 to as they head to the fourth quarter. Kevin John and Penn. All right, Kurt, thanks very much. Here, 19-3 Seahawks about to get the ball back. His defense playing lights out today. Butler, high kick, not very deep at all. Walters will call a fair catch right around the 19-yard line. Richard Sherman saying this is our house. They are looking good today. 19-3 lead leaded here in the fourth. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Lowe's. Lowe's never stop improving. By Budweiser, America's smoothest lager. And by State Farm. Pump up your savings with a discount double check today. Go Hawks! Yeah! <laughs> By the way, those fish are slippery. That guy's got good hands. Yeah, well, that's no joke. Sign him up. Talk about throwing the football in the rain, the wet ball. Without the gloves, here's Marshawn Lynch, who's had a relatively quiet day for him, but he's going to pick up five yards. So the NFC West. Cardinals at 9-1 with a three-game lead over both San Francisco and Seattle. Seahawks, it's almost a must-win for them today and, and in good shape. San Francisco is tied with Washington 10-10 late in the third quarter there, and the 49ers and Seahawks play on Thanksgiving night. The way this playoff picture is shaping out, there's going to be a couple good teams that aren't going to make the playoffs. Here's Wilson on the keeper. A lot of room. He's going to slide down for a first. Smart, let the clock run. Here is the playoff picture as it stands right now. Packers won today. They are playing. They and the Patriots are playing the best football in the league right now. Eagles won today. Cowboys played tonight. But, John, there's you look at these teams. I mean, Seattle, San Francisco are right now on the outside looking in. Yeah, and how about the 49ers going to be saying, thank you very much, Seattle, before they meet them Thursday night. I mean, it's brilliant what the league's done, backloading all these divisional games because there's a lot of football to be played. You know, the thing is, and the other thing is, Wilson dancing around, looking, and just slides down. There was no receiver at all on that side of the field, so he had no choice. And here's why else today is so important for Seattle. Their schedule down the road is the toughest in the NFL. Now, Arizona's schedule is no picnic either as they try and get home field advantage. But Seattle, look at this. So Thanksgiving with San Francisco at Philly. 49ers again at Arizona, St. Louis, and they're beating everybody these days. But Arizona doesn't have home field locked. I mean, they got at Atlanta, Kansas City, which is playing great, and then St. Louis, Seattle, San Francisco, all those divisional games. It's really a crapshoot, John. It absolutely is. Okay. They knew the opportunity not only to get to 10-1, but to knock Seattle out of this thing. That'll look like they're going to be able to. Here is Marshawn Lynch. That's his best run of the day. He's got a first down for Seattle and a gain of 14. Just look at this blocking up front. It all starts with the run in Seattle. And a large part of that reason is because they have a very special running back in Marshawn Lynch that can do it all. And he does it while he's playing in pain. He's banged up this week. We've seen him out. But in the fourth quarter, he wants in to finish this game. I think the impressive thing about that today, he is banked up. He's only got 11 carries for 33 yards. He did have a, did have a big catch on the last drive, but what do we come in talking about? Is Turbin now with a good hole across midfield. About this Seattle passing game, right? And they only had two games over 200 yards passing all year, John. And, you know, to some degree, it wasn't much different than last year. Well, they needed to get it better. Russell Wilson told us so himself. He's been much better. 14 of 17, 169 yards and a touchdown. It's his best game of the year, I think. Look, you don't need to throw for 300 yards each week, but you need to be efficient in yeah. doing so. And, you know, he's done it very well on the move today. And that's where he's been a little off this season. It's the accuracy on the run that's been a little different. I think that's accustomed, getting accustomed to his new group of receivers. I got a penalty. Well, I'll start. Offense number 68, five-yard penalty, second down. Look, Wilson's tremendous, third year, he's won a Super Bowl. He's been everything you can imagine, face of a franchise type thing. But you asked him the other day about repeating, and, and he said something that, that I thought was cool. He said, I think we have that fire in us. 
I think we do. Now it's time to, to play clutch. Yeah, and he's a guy who's always looking for that edge. Last year he talked to Terry Bradshaw, who had been to a bunch of Super Bowls and won them. I asked him who he talked to. He talked to Michael Jordan. He talked to Drew Brees, Derek Jeter. Pretty good guys to talk to for advice on how to do it. A little flea flicker action. How about this? Wilson going to unload it. And knocked away. He was looking for Norwood. But Patrick Peterson did not fall for the fake. Well, that's what speed do, as the guys for the Kansas City Royals said. Watch Patrick Peterson. He's beat. Not anymore, because he can flat out run, and then he can attack the football. And that's what 4-2 speed does for a guy like Patrick Peterson. He was beat, but not for long. I didn't think you'd get a Gerard Dyson quote in yeah. this game today. That was that guy, impressive. That was one of my favorite quotes of all time. <laughs> We've heard speed go, but that's what speed do. That's what speed do. <laughs> they were so much fun to watch in that over the World Series. Now third and nine. Arizona bringing the house. Wilson. Ryan looking to throw it away. Incomplete, so Seattle will punt it away. But time now a factor. 9-17 to play. 19-3 Seahawks. Well, they're not going to quit. This is a team, they know their success in the fourth quarter. They know it's stacked against them right now. But Arizona Cardinals and the Bruce Arians, they will play right to the end. John Ryan's had a good day punting. It's another butte. Inside the 10, great bounce, bounces out right there. And this guy can kick. And so Arizona has a long way to go with 9.08 to play. Hasn't been their day. Tough place to play here in Seattle with the defending champs playing like it. All this week, feast on the biggest rivalries in college football, beginning on Thanksgiving Day, fifth-ranked TCU battling Texas. That's followed on Friday by 13th-ranked Arizona State against 15th-ranked Arizona. Saturday, Notre Dame against 19th-ranked USC begins Thanksgiving Day on Fox Sports 1 Fox. And streaming live on Fox Sports Go. And here we go for Arizona. Down 19-3, 9.08 to play. Staten coming near side. Jerron Brown has the catch. He fumbled, and it goes backwards. Right back to the original line of scrimmage. Byron Maxwell, who's been active today, punched it out. And it'll bring up a second down and 10. Really nice job by Byron Maxwell getting that ball out. Cardinals lucky to fall on it. Well, Arizona today coming in, we knew they had been the turnover kings, right? I mean, that's the one thing they had been so good at. And they came in with plus 11, which was second in the NFL. And Pete Carroll said, we can't give them their lifeline. They haven't, and the Seahawks are winning. Four-man rush. Stanton near side of John Brown, who makes another tiptoe catch inbounds. Tell you what, uh, you know, one thing that's clear, they found themselves a player, and it was clear early. Look at his awareness of where he's at on the field, the concentration. He just impresses you more the more you watch John Brown. One thing for Seattle is without Larry Fitzgerald today, Michael Floyd doesn't have a catch. This guy that had two touchdowns last week. First down, pressure picked up, Stanton. And he's going to tuck it and run, diving forward near a first down. Game break. Let's go to Kurt. Well, the Broncos in jeopardy of losing two in a row here. Miami, Ryan Tannehill to Jarvis Landry, five-yard score. They lead at 28-17 going into the fourth quarter. Kevin John? Miami's won four of five. Denver could lose three of four. Stanton in trouble, and down he goes. Irvin was there. Bennett was coming from the backside with Averill. Probably give Irvin the credit. Well, this is a pass rush that only came into today with 13 sacks. 31st, second to last in the league. This doesn't look like that same pass rush we've seen all year. Cliff Averill, incredible all day. You see the push up the middle by Bennett. They are coming today. They give it to Averill, his second of the day. Third down.
blitz coming. Stanton gets rid of it low, incomplete. And this Seattle defense has been unbelievable today. And Stanton is slow getting up. Boy, you know, I think what's become very apparent, this is a game where you needed a guy like Larry Fitzgerald. This team has endured a lot of losses, but when you lose a receiver like Jerry, Larry Fitzgerald in a game like this, it's going to show, and it has. It has shown. There's no doubt about it. Butler punted away. Fair catch at the 32 from Walters. It has not been the day for Drew Stanton because the Seattle defense has been stellar. Domination by Seattle's D, 19-3. They're up. This game is sponsored by the new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. The next big thing is here. Well, Drew Stanton got drilled on that last play. I believe it was by Bruce Servant. So Logan Thomas, the rookie from Virginia Tech, is warming up. Well, here's that hit, Kevin. Bruce Servant's come in and nail him. They were taping that left ankle where that came from, but that's what they're looking at on Drew Stanton. It's been a great performance by Russell Wilson today. 169 yards throwing, 64 rushing. That play is going to go nowhere. Larry Foote blew that play up. 19-3 Seattle trying to milk some clock here. You know, for this Seattle team, you know, John, it's interesting. They came in 9-1. They beat Detroit last week. You're thinking, hey, they've got the, you know, the front row seat for, for home field advantage, right? If they were to go 4-2, I think they would, they would get home field advantage the rest of the way. But this is no gimmick. We showed their schedule now, and, you know, Stanton has come back to earth. This offense has not done anything today. How do you evaluate Arizona? And I'll ask you after this play. Get it in perspective. Now, obviously, this is a tough place to play. Here's Marshawn Lynch. And he's going to be tackled immediately. Now, how do you make Arizona? And they're 9-2. It's been great, but step back today. Well, I think that's why so many people have been doubting them. They've endured so many losses. You kind of have this feeling like, how many can you? And now you've seen a team who kind of came out and challenged Drew Stanton said, you know what, you're not, you're not going to be able to run the football. We're going to take that completely away. Not that that's been a strength, but you're gonna, we're going to be all over your receivers. Can you beat us? Can you methodically take the ball downfield? Well, the answer today was no. Now, this is Seattle. Tough place to win. I don't oh, yeah. care. They're the defending champs, and they played like it today. But Arizona's got their work cut. A lot of football left, and they know that. They, they really do, but they're going to have to respond to this tough, tough day here today. They set up a screen, and Lynch is wide. And Marshawn Lynch has got a first down. Beautiful touch right over the blitz. Yeah, you talk about wide open. Well, you invite them in and then throw it right over where they came from. And Marshawn Lynch, I tell you what, there's a lot of talk on. He doesn't like talking to the media. He may not be here next year. I think that would be ridiculous because one thing this guy can do is play football. He's a, he's a special football player and one, one of the best in the league, in my, my opinion. Here's Lynch and fighting forward across midfield. And even with that bad back, at this point, they want him in there to run out this yeah. game. And if you lose your wallet, he'll return it. <laughs> I mean, what a guy. Now, how funny is this? <laughs> the story with that, if you don't know this week, uh, Marsha Lynch, all the talk John said, it getting fined a ridiculous amount of money for not talking. And the local Seattle media is used to it. They're, it's just the way he's a little different guy. He he's at the gas station. He finds a wallet um, that a guy leaves behind. The guy that left it behind, his last name is Lynch. <laughs> so he decides to drive into the guy's house 20 minutes away with Ricardo Lockett and return it. Us, us Lynches stick together. Yeah, well, he always tells you he's your cousin. Look at the time. Wilson. Now get some pressure. Now he's going to just run it right out. Russell Wilson sliding into second for the first down. It's really interesting how early on in this game, the Arizona Cardinals were finishing when they had the opportunity. Russell Wilson kind of rope a dope him. He backed up, said, I'll take some hits. Eventually, I'm going to get you, though, and we're seeing it now. Every time they're around him, they can't bring him down. And he's doing things like this. It's been an incredible effort by Russell Wilson, who endured some punches early and then started throwing haymakers. The best game he's played all year, you think? I think so. There's no doubt about it. At the right time, they needed yeah. it, and he stepped up. It's been a great performance. 
on a first and ten with 3.17 to go, trying to run out the clock. It's Turbin up to middle. Still fighting. The crowd appreciating that. Well, we know one thing about Arizona, and you know, you're talking about all their evaluating them, John. Their, their defense is completely legit. Their defense played well today, except for that really one big drive where Wilson made play after play. But, you know, as you look around, and Clayus Campbell's been great, but he's tired. The NFC... Not a lot of offense in the conference. I mean, other, other than Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, I mean, the Eagles can score, but this, and, and the Cowboys too, but the, the offense is, is at a premium in the conference. Yeah, and part of that reason is because there's such great defense in this division. So the teams are built to play great defensive football, and it shows. Fake to Turbin. Wilson has a completion. Why not? It's Luke Wilson. He's got a first down, shoved out of bounds. Inside the 15-yard line. And Seattle just trying to finish this one off strong. Well, again, the hard sell. You see Luke Wilson coming in motion. The hard sell on the play action. Wide open field for Luke Wilson. Trying to make up for the loss of Zach Miller and doing a fine job right there. 2.23 to go. Russell Wilson, 204 yards passing, 74 yards rushing. Run to Turbin. Going left, looking for a seam. Just gets tripped up. And if Arizona doesn't call a timeout, it'll take us down to the two-minute warning. Marcus Bernard made the tackle. The Seahawks finding their stride today in a game they really had to have in an especially facing a game at San Francisco on Thanksgiving. That'll take us to two minutes remaining. Pete Carroll, pretty happy about this one. His Seahawks up, 19-3. NFC West standings are about to change. And not only is Seattle going to win today and Arizona going to lose, Arizona will be 9-2. Washington just went in front of San Francisco 13-10, which would be... A disastrous loss for the 49ers at this point. You know, it, it, you see, and that's why I keep saying there's so much football to be played. And, and I think what these guys are doing, the Seattle Seahawks, they're saying, Arizona, you're off to a great start, but to be the champs, you've got to beat the champs. And we're still here, and we're not going away. This has been impressive. Two minutes to go. Ninth play of the drive, look to run it out. Marshawn Lynch tackled inside the 10. John, both Russell Wilson and Richard Sherman, when we were talking with them on Friday, said, you know what, this, this is no different than 2012. And, and, and here's these guys, Thomas and Sherman. This is beautiful. That's why you're the best. That's what Earl Thomas is telling them. And, and you know, I know uh, boy, those, those guys can both play. And <laughs> this team's got a lot left to them. And you felt the confidence around their building. They were getting healthy. Mm. They felt like it was their time. And they have showed up today. They brought it back to the 2012 though, just to finish. They were six and five. And Russell Wilson said, yeah, then we were dropping 50 on people. Throwing towards the end zone. Help it tackle shy of the end zone, but he's got a first down. But to finish the thought, they were six and five, John. They beat Arizona 58 to nothing. They beat Buffalo 50 to 17. They beat San Francisco 42 to 13. And as we know, they went on a nice playoff run. Hey, so experience, having that experience uh -huh. is nice to fall back upon. It's hard to repeat. I've been there. It really is. People raid your talent. Uh, agendas start to happen within your team. A lot goes on. And as Pete Carroll, I think, very eloquent, this is a class act to kneel down. But Pete Carroll said you're going to get everyone's best. They're going to study you all offseason. And that's what people have done. But the Seattle Seahawks answered the call today. An enormous win for the defending champs. Russell Wilson, outstanding. The defense was as good as they've been. And a 19-3 win over the Cardinals here in Seattle. And so the Seahawks draw to within two games in the NFC West behind the Cardinals, a fall of 9 and 2. Seattle now 7 and 4, and they've got a date with the 49ers on Thanksgiving. Rousing win for the Seahawks. 19 to 3, taking care of their rivals, the Cardinals. We'll be back here from Seattle in a moment.